kembali lagi di Talk The Talk bersama aku, Valeri. Sama seperti biasanya, hari ini kita juga akan ngomongin hal-hal yang berhubungan dengan kuliah di luar negeri. Nah, sebelum ngomongin itu, aku ingin tanya deh. Summers di sini nggak mungkin kan nggak suka yang namanya potongan biaya. Mau makan, nonton, pastinya dia ada potongan harganya. Sama halnya dengan kuliah, pasti Summers juga mengincar yang namanya beasiswa. Untuk ngomongin lebih jauh tentang beasiswa, hari ini kita udah ditemani dengan salah satu student sun education yang berhasil mendapat berhasil mendapat beasiswa dari UTS di Australia. Let's give her a warm welcome. Hi Catherine. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll get straight into the questions. Um, so I heard that you successfully landed 100% Vice Chancellor's International Undergraduate Scholarship from UTS. Um, if I may ask, what motivated you in the in the first place to you know to get the scholarship? Um, it would be like my desire to go uh, study abroad because, uh, as we all know, studying abroad is a bit expensive, and I also have a twin, so my parents have to pay like twice as much. Um, so I decided early on that I wanted to get a scholarship because I didn't want to be a burden to them. Um, so I studied um, really hard from the start of uh, beginning of high school. I started, I was really serious about my academics um, and extracurriculars. And I always pushed myself and strived for the best. And finally, I, accept, I got accepted to a good university, which was UPS. And I also fortunately managed to get a full scholarship too. Congratulations. And it's not only a good university, UTS is like one of the best. Um, so could you explain to us a little bit about the scholarship? Like what is the, what are the benefits and what are the requirements? Um, so the scholarship I got is called the Vice Chancellor's International Undergraduate Scholarship. And it would cover um, the full tuition fee for the length of your studies. And the requirements is that uh, you have to be an international student and you have to have a minimum grade of 85. And it's an application-based scholarship where you have to submit a separate application on top of your usual university application. And you have to write a short statement, a short 500 word statement about your extracurriculars and achievements in high school that demonstrates your leadership skills and the scholarship recipient is um, selected fully based on academic merit and extracurriculars. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for explaining. Uh, and we're going to talk about talk more about your scholarship. But for now, I want to ask you about the program you choose. Um, why did you uh, choose to study this program? If I'm not mistaken, you're studying uh, computing science, uh, ATS. Um, so why did you choose to study this program abroad? And specifically, why did you choose Australia in the first place? Um, well, I actually chose uh, computing science because I actually got introduced to it in high school, uh, where I found it really interesting and intriguing. And I found that I am passionate in the subject. So I eventually took it up in my AS and A-levels. And after a bit of research, I found that it is an industry with a lot of uh, potential. And there's also excellent graduate prospects. And I decided to study abroad because the programs there are more specific and I have more freedom in picking and exploring the classes I'm interested in. And overall, the uh, way of teaching there is much more flexible and less rigid. And the reason I picked Australia is because the universities there are exceptionally reputable worldwide. Um, and we can see that because they are quite advanced, especially in this field. And Australia itself is a relatively safe and livable country to reside in, especially for international students, because it has uh, quite low crime rates and is also located near to Indonesia, which is convenient for me since I'm a bit scared of plane rides. Oh, okay. Uh, jadi kalau saya tadi uh, udah dengar nih kata yang ngomong apa benefits kuliah di Australia di luar negeri terutama di Australia itu banyak banget mulai dari sistem pendidikannya sampai keamanannya juga. Jadi buat sainers yang sekarang masih ragu-ragu nih untuk kuliah di Australia jangan lagi karena Juli ini udah last chance untuk intake 2022. Okay, Catherine, I want to ask you uh, more about the scholarship you got. So you mentioned that you worked hard and you really planned uh, to get the scholarship like you know you had like a really a good process th uh, throughout and uh, how did you feel when you actually got the news 
that you receive the scholarship like especially it's from UTS like that's one of the best university in Australia and arguably the world so how did you feel? First I was like extremely happy and I felt really fortunate that uh, I was selected and broke the news to me and I was actually I just finished my maths final at the time it was um on 18 May at about 10 a.m. And I remember thinking it was a prank because I was in such disbelief. And I immediately called my parents to break the news to them. Um, they were, of course, also really ecstatic. And I'm really thrilled and honored to be given the oppor this opportunity because I know how prestigious and competitive this scholarship is. And many strong applicants around the world are competing for this scholarship. Of course, uh, but... Like, there are many scholarship options available, uh, maybe in UTS or maybe in other universities in Australia. How was the process? Like, how did the process go of finding the scholarship? Um, so, actually, my parents have always leaned towards, like, me studying in Australia because it's, like, it's close to Indonesia. So, if there's anything that's going to happen, they can just easily fly over there. Uh, and But... Um, because of Corona, where we have to do everything online, I was a bit confused on where to apply for and which uh, scholarships that I was eligible for. However, after consulting with Sun Education, uh, they quickly informed me about the universities that were still open for application and about this scholarship from UBS. Oh, okay. So um, um, I want to know more about like the preparation. You know, like what what preparation did you do while you were preparing to, you know, get the scholarship? You mentioned that you had to write an essay and, you know, what else? What what was uh, the preparation like for you? Um, I decided to compile a list of com past competition and extra and my extracurriculars that I've participated in. And I also prepared recommendation letters for my teachers. And I decided early on to write my essay so that it uh, so the quality would be um, the best I could give. And I also researched about the scholarship and um, past recipients, and I looked for what UTS were, was looking for. Okay. And um, how was it? Well, like, were there any difficulties that you found along the way? You seem really well prepared. Like, you really wanted to get the scholarship, but like, were did you face any difficulties? And if so, um, you mentioned that uh, you uh, got help from Sun Education. Like, did Sun Education help you along the way too? Uh, you know, like overcoming those difficulties, maybe? It wasn't a hassle at all, I would say. So education help will help you every step of the way, uh, like from finding relevant information for the scholarships or the university, um, to arranging your student visa and accommodation there. They will help you with everything. So it was relatively very a smooth ride for, for me. Um, the only thing that I would find a little bit hard was writing the essay. It took me around a week to do it. Uh, or two weeks to do it and Sun Education actually helped me uh, for example if I had anything I was concerned about or if I had anything I was confused about uh, I would ask the Yen and she would easily um, um, answer them okay well that's great great that you you know you get help along the way because you were with Sun also um, we were uh, we we're gonna still talk about you know your scholarship could you maybe one name name one crucial thing that you know, people at home who are watching this, the signers at home must not forget when they're trying to apply for a scholarship. Um, it would be the details. Uh, don't be overly generic when you write an essay and write an essay that is catered to the university and scholarship you are applying to. Make the essay as uh, unique as possible, like towards yourself, so that maybe it would uh, it would be hard for other people to copy because it would uh, make you stand out more. So don't just reuse and recycle your essays over and over again um, because you will usually sound really vague and uninterested. And also make sure to build up and keep track of your extracurriculars um, because it can really showcase your talents and your skills. Thank you so much. That's like, that's the best advice. I'm sure centers at home are taking notes right now. If I can ask one last thing, like uh, the essay, like, do you have any certain tips for people out there who are trying to write their essay for their scholarship? You did uh, mention that you have to stay original, but are there certain, any other tips that you can give uh, maybe centers at home? Um, it's to not procrastinate because when you procrastinate, like um, a two-month deadline seems so long, but it will pass by in such a short time. And usually when you do it, um, when you procrastinate, you won't give 
the best quality. Like for me personally, I when I wrote my essay when uh, for another university, when I procrastinated, wasn't my best work at all. And if you do it um, early on, you can uh, reread it and ask your friends to proofread it and you can find out the mistakes in your essays. And anyways, all, there's always something to improve on in your essays. Okay, well, thank you so much. I had a great time talking to you. Congratulations once more on landing your scholarship. That's great. And please, um, you know, enjoy studying in Sydney in Australia. I'm sure you'll do, you'll do great. And thank you so much for giving tips uh, for all the centers at home. So we'll see you next time. See you, Catherine. Thank you. Itu dia perbincangan kita dengan Catherine. Semoga Sanders yang nonton semakin terinspirasi untuk mengejar beasiswanya. Dan aku juga mau ingetin Sanders untuk kejar last chance intake 2022 untuk masuk ke Universitas Luar Negeri pilihan kamu. Untuk informasi lebih lanjut, Sanders bisa langsung hubungi hotline Sun Education atau datang langsung untuk konsultasi di kantor cabang Sun Education yang tersebar 27 kantor cabang di seluruh Indonesia. Untuk terus keep up with the latest news, jangan lupa juga untuk download Sun Education Mobile App dan Sun e-Guidebook. Sama jangan lupa juga nih untuk subscribe channel YouTube kita ini dan follow kita di semua social media platforms. Oke, sampai di sini aja Talk The Talk kali ini. Aku Valeri, pamit undur diri. Sampai jumpa di Talk The Talk selanjutnya. Bye-bye!